Hello and welcome to State and Local Government Online Anytime Edition, uh, Section 1942. My name is Jonathan Parker. I will be your instructor for this course, and I'm glad you're here. Uh, I have never uh, run State and Local Government as an online course, so um, I'm trying some new things um, that aren't going to necessarily line up with the in-person class that I'm teaching as well. Um, but I'm, I'm looking forward to it, and I think we're going to have a lot of fun together. Just That's uh, just my hope. Uh, let me know in December if we, we did have fun. Uh, anyway, online anytime, so you work at your own pace. Uh, contact information. Jonathan.Parker at ICC.edu. Now, I don't know why this is a problem in particular back in, like, the 1800s when I was born. Uh, this was the common way to spell Jonathan. Uh, but I get a lot of this. I get a lot of this. I even get that together. Uh, and I have had very, very, very angry students uh, try to confront me in past semesters about why I didn't answer their email, and I, I think and I hope you can agree that, uh, you know, I can't answer correspondence that I never received. So, my name's spelled correctly here, my name's spelled correctly here. If we go on Canvas, this is our uh, Canvas site. My name's spelled correctly there, my name's spelled correctly there. On eServices, you should also have it. So, I mean, there are, are a million and one places where you can find uh, the correct spelling of my name, and it shouldn't be an issue to send me an email. So my office is uh, 216C on the East Peoria campus. All my office hours are in person, um, and they are listed here. So if you need help, stop by. Uh, the first week, so August 15th, um, and 16th, August 15th and 16th, I won't be holding office hours. Office hours start on the 17th. Okay? I'll be there starting on the 17th. Um, but anyway, they're on the East Peoria campus, as I said. Uh, I will hold extra office hours via Zoom uh, for you guys if that's needed. You know, talk to me, coordinate a time. Uh, if you wish to exercise this option, that's fine. Uh, I am type. I mean, I, I hope I've cultivated the reputation on campus during my time at ICC that I, I, I'm going to bend over backwards to help you guys succeed to the extent that I can. Um, you know, so I, talk to me. Uh, I'm not going to know you're having trouble unless you say so. I've had students in the past, they failed my course. I said, why? Why, you're an A student. You should be an A student. And they say, well, I was confused about X, Y, and Z. Why didn't you ever say anything? And they don't know. So come by, talk to me. I'm very friendly. I don't bite. I'm, I, you know, I don't, I don't have horns and a tail. I'm not the devil. You know, just come see me. Come see, it's fine. Um, you know, uh, if, so if we can find a mutually agreeable time, then... We're golden. Uh, we'll meet on Zoom. I'll send you an invite. It'll be great. Remember, teachers cannot read minds. I won't know that you are having difficulty unless you tell me. Please reach out if you need help. Again, reach out if you need help. I don't know if you need help. In these online anytime classes, the likelihood that I'm going to see any of your faces, you know, or get to, you know, or get to know any one of you beyond a, a name on a sheet of paper. And I, that's why, I, I, you know, these are not my favorite classes to do for that reason. I like to see you and, and form a relationship. Uh, it's, it's slim. So, I, I mean, I just won't know. I won't know. So tell me. Uh, I'm available by email. Otherwise, I'll endeavor to get back to you within one business day of your inquiry. So just, I've, there's been confusion about what a business day is. So if you send me an email on a Monday, I'm going to answer it by Tuesday at the latest. Uh, an email sent on Friday, because Saturday and Sunday are not business days. 
they'll be answered by Monday at the latest. So uh, I'm not going to read the course description. You can do that by yourself. I'm not going to read the institutional level outcomes and course level outcomes. You can do that by yourself. I will say uh, that the book is Governing States and Localities, 8th edition, Kevin Smith and Alan Green Blot. Uh, you will need the book because we actually are going to read most of the book. All right, so you need it. I'm sorry for it. I don't like, it's not my first choice to just strictly teach out of a textbook, but that's kind of the position I'm in right now uh, where I have to do that. So I'll show you what the cover looks like. Governing states and localities. Kevin Smith, Alan Greenblatt, 8th edition. So that's what it looks like. Um, I don't know what the prices are at the bookstore, but this seems to me like a pretty reasonable option. Um, if you, if you, you know, if it's more expensive at the bookstore and you're looking to save a, a couple dollars, uh, I can't. I can't because this has been a question in the past. I cannot give you a free textbook. I cannot. You know, I'm not. I, it, it's violating copyright law for me to uh, scan the entire textbook because it really is a matter of the entire textbook into the computer and uh, deliver it to you that way. In my American government courses, we just kind of read little snippets of the textbook, and I can get away with that sort of. Um, but uh, you, you, you have to find a way to get the textbook. You need the textbook. It has to be in your hands. We're not going to start using it this first week, but you're going to need it starting next week, week two. So you're not required to purchase any additional books. Uh, online materials and supplemental documents will be provided by the instructor. I will put things up. Uh, PowerPoints and online supplements will be included on the exams. So um, there is, you know, uh, there there isn't a, a whole lot of lineup with what I'm doing with um, you guys versus the uh, the in person section. But like the first thing we do in the in person section is we talk about like the, the history of kind of Illinois and who the governor is and uh, the political system. So I'll record videos of that as I'm giving them in class. I won't, you know, I'm, I'm not going to do the le lecture twice. I will upload them and uh, I'll post them, you know, when, when, we, and when we get through it as we're going. Um, and that will be your responsibility as well as the PowerPoint to watch the videos of, of me lecturing as well as go through the PowerPoint. Um, Yeah, that was all I was going to say. So, like, you know, who is the governor, J.B. Pritzker? Who is the lieutenant governor, Juliana Stratton? Yeah, those will be exam questions. I know that isn't said in the book, but, you know, it's kind of something you need to know just to be a, a good citizen. So all course materials, excluding the textbook, will most likely, I put the most likely in, be accessible via our Canvas page. I, I just... I just put the most likely in because I, I didn't, you know, if I make a video and I say go to www.google.com or something like that, you know, I, I it just seemed a rather definitive statement. Uh, all course information is available either online, is available online either in the syllabus, announcement modules, or discussion areas. Uh, Canvas, you're going to need reliable internet access and an email account in order to complete this course. You just have, you have to have it. Uh, all ICC students automatically have an ICC email account. I cannot help you with that. You have to talk to uh, the IT department if you cannot log in or have some sort, there's some sort of impediment to you getting into your ICC or using your ICC email account. I can't, I can't help you with that.
So, uh, we're going to skip around with, with this a little bit, but th this is roughly the way we're going to go. Unit 1, Unit 2, Unit 3, Unit 4. You can look at that by yourself. Uh, just note in the event of unforeseen situations that require change, faculty members reserve the right to adjust assignments, due dates, grading standards, class schedule, and or other course elements. Reasonable attempt will be made to communicate these changes in a timely manner on the Canvas page and by college email. There is an option on Canvas to uh, send email, and those go to your college accounts. Sorry about that. Uh, so this would really uh, come into effect. Uh, I'll, I'll just be up front. I've, I've had a lot of health problems in the past two years. I've had to be hospitalized a couple of times uh, because of it. There's, I've, I've had a couple brain surgeries. Uh, so, I mean, this, if, if I had to go away, if I was going to be, you know, sick for an extended period of time, we might have to do some, again, not anticipating it at all. I'm doing pretty good at the moment. Uh, but, you know, that is why that's there. If I need to, uh, take a, take a minute. So, of course, policies... If you need to get a hold of me outside of class, utilize the email address at the top of page one of the syllabus. So I'll try to respond to all emails within 24 hours. Um, I've got a wife and a one-year-old at home, so I mean, if you send it at 5 p.m. on a Monday, if you, you know, don't don't rip my head off if you, you know, get an email back at 6 p.m. on a Tuesday, you know. Uh, I will not answer any emails sent on Saturday and Sunday until the following Monday. This is just an attempt to reclaim my life. I have uh, let this become a 24-7, 365 type job, and I don't want to do that anymore. So I'm taking Saturday and Sunday back. So just plan accordingly. If you, if you need something, uh, there's never going to be anything that urgent. Our week goes from Tuesday to Tuesday. Uh, so, yeah, you, you shouldn't need to email me on a Saturday or Sunday anyway. Uh, assignment submissions. All submissions will be done electronically through Canvas. Uh, I'm a fan of Flipgrid. I know some of you aren't, but we might go to Flipgrid go to Flipgrid at some point for some assignments. Academic citation etiquette. I'm big with this. Uh, whenever you turn in a written assignment, you're required to cite your source if you use a direct quote from a book, article, website, or you paraphrase a chunk of text from the book, article, or website, or you present a theory, argument, opinion that does not belong to you, cite it. Cite it, cite it, cite it, because you don't want to turn it in and have me find it, because I will fail you for that assignment. We'll get to that later in this video. Be very, very careful, because most of you are going to a four-year college, and they are big on this stuff. Academic honesty. Honesty is always the best policy. You're required to have a bibliography, too. So we're going to do, like, discussion board assignments. And you're required to cite outside sources if you have them. You're required to have a bibliography of your outside sources if you have them. Again, uh, we're getting practice of, like, get in some practice of, of doing citations and, and correct uh, acknowledgement of sources. So I've taken the thinking out of it for you. You can go to easybib.com. There are a million other sources that do this too. We use the latest MLA format in this class. I think we're up at ML, MLA 9. 
um, with, for bibliographies and inline citations. So inline citations are expected in any writing assignment that you turn in where you have used outside sources. So if you watch a video where I say, I am sitting in a room uh, with two lamps and three uh, posters. Okay, and you use that. So Mr. Parker said, I am sitting in a room with two lamps and three posters. You cite it, you know, you little parentheses, Parker, and then it says 1542 on my timer here. That's all. It's easy, right? General guidelines. So if you have any doubts about whether something needs to be cited, please just create a citation for it. Don't take chances with your grade. All right, I, I'm never, 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 ever, ever going to take points off for an extra citation. I'll just point out that you didn't need it. That's it. That's it. That it's no cost to you. On the other hand, it'll cost you a whole lot if you don't have it and you need it. All right, next. Wikipedia is not an academic resource. Wikipedia is not an academic resource. Any fool can get on Wikipedia and make any sort of change they want at any point. All right? I, colleagues and I have disagreed over this, but you're in my class, so I don't want to see Wikipedia in any bibliography at all. All right? Do not cite Wikipedia in any work that you do this semester. It will negatively impact your grade. Now the next question I get here, if I'm in an in-person class, how will it negatively, how much will it negatively impact my grade, Mr. Parker? My answer is always, do you really want to find out? Just don't do it. You're not using Wikipedia. Now I will say this for Wikipedia. Uh, let's just say King Henry uh, the Eighth. Let's just go there. If you go all like all the way to the bottom, external links. Sometimes these are good. You know, if you look at like letters, papers, uh, letters and papers, foreign and domestic of the reign of Henry the Eighth. Okay, let's give it a click. Some of these might be good. I will give that to Wikipedia, but other than that, you can do that, but I better not see wikipedia.com on anything. Uh, academic misconduct, plagiarism. Now, you should have a student's rights and responsibilities handbook lying around somewhere. Page 24, based on the severity of the offense, the instructor may recommend failure for an assignment or failure for the course. Multiple instances of academic misconduct could include sanctions up to dismissal from the college. Don't make me do that. Please do not make me do that. It, 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 it is a, it's a lot of time on your part and mine for something that could be so easily avoided. All right, every semester this has been an issue. The first time I catch you plagiarizing, I will give you a zero for whatever assignment you have plagiarized on without the opportunity to redo. That could be a 10-point assignment. That could be a 75-point assignment. That could be a 100-point test that you plagiarized an essay question. All right, whatever it is. The second time I catch you, I'm failing you for the course. That's it. No exceptions to this will be made. Late submissions. As a rule, I don't accept late work. And the online classes, I, I'm especially reluctant to do it just because you all know like really well in advance when things are due. Uh, so circumstances sometimes do occur, though, that might prevent you from turning something in on time. Um, if a circumstance like an illness or death in the family does occur, please make sure you talk to me. Make sure that you have proof that what you said happened did happen. And I feel like a jerk for writing that. 
but um, you know students take advantage of me and have taken advantage of me uh, if you come at me with an excuse like I went to a Chris Brown concert last night or I had other homework to do you're not going to be turning anything in note also in my online classes especially you as I said you know well in advance about assignments tests quizzes etc due dates I will no longer accept and this is you can blame the summer folks for this I will no longer accept a late submission of anything if the ask comes to me the night before an assignment is due. So, you know, uh, say Monday night and the assignment's due Tuesday or the test is due Tuesday. Mr. Parker, uh, you know, um, I, I, I just uh, got in, uh, I, I got hives or something like I got hives or something like that and I can't, uh, I can't do work. Uh, I need an extension. No, you're not getting one. Why? Because you knew there was a schedule posted and you knew about everything that was due the previous Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So I, I'm not feeling a great and overwhelming need to be um, overly generous because of that. As I say here, lack of planning, and it usually is a lack of planning uh, on your part does not constitute an emergency on my part. All right, discussion board etiquette. Just be nice on the discussion boards, all right, when addressing controversial topics or when disagreeing with other students in the class, and I hope you will. Um, we learn more when we disagree with each other. Please use great tact. If you don't know the definition of tact, I had my wife look at the syllabus. She said, what is that? What does that mean? What does that mean? I'm not going to even tell you. Look it up. Look it up. That'll be your first lesson of political science, uh, state and local government. When people write, we cannot hear voice changes, hear pauses and sentences, see hand gestures, anything like that. In other words, be careful how you write and how you respond. I hope we can all maintain a high level of respect for one another at all times done correctly, the discussions will be fun, lively, enlightening, without being offensive to those who happen to hold a differing opinion from your own. Um, and this here, just another word, I'm, I'm not going to jump in the discussion boards a whole lot, because the uh, studies show uh, when the professor jumps in, uh, discussion tends to stop, and you just tend to defer to me. So, I don't want you to do that. So, I'm I will be reading these discussion board replies, but I'm not going to be jumping in a whole lot. So standard 10-point grading scale, 90, 80, 70, 60. Methods of presentation. Uh, this course will primarily be, well, I'm just going to, this is mistake one. Occasionally require you to watch lecture videos from the in-person class. You will participate in online discussion boards and interact with your classmates. So like I said, uh, if there's something you need to know or that's we're doing something exciting or whatever, I'll record it and I'll throw it up on Canvas or if something's going to be on the test. Uh, that isn't in your book, I will throw it up on Canvas. Uh, but other than that, you know, there there aren't going to be a whole lot of instances where I'm throwing up lecture videos like left and right, like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you're getting lecture videos. Um, visual, I will throw the PowerPoints up that we're doing in the in-person class. So I'll incorporate PowerPoint presentations, um, Now, 
not lectures into my videos where appropriate you're gonna get them other types of presentation styles might be incorporated later on in the semester depending on how the class progresses uh, and just so you know I'm going to save this and I'm going to re-upload this so you're getting the absolute 100% correct copy of the syllabus on day one this is just uh, like I said if I only make half a dozen mistakes in a class or in a document that I make then it is a very good day for me so methods of assessment we'll have at least 100 points in quizzes there's a pretest you're gonna take uh, this week you're gonna get 25 points for it the only way you're not going to get 25 points for it is if you don't take it that's it I just want to see what you know all right so the only way you will not get 25 points is if you don't take this then the post test the grade you get on this stands and the pretest and the post test are identical it's a thing we do called assessment so I see how you grow throughout the course uh, class work homework there will be classwork and homework outside of the discussion boards and things like that um, I, I might have been a little ambitious when I say 150 points so I'm going to take the expect more out of it discussion there will be 10 point discussions a week 150 points written assignments I have two 75 pointers um, test one and test two 100 points so the final uh, I haven't decided when I'm going to administer the final yet but it's going to be 20 percent of your grade overall so all this is 80 percent and we'll get into that when we need to get into that so here's everything we're off on September 5th for Labor Day now I I will say I'll put the stuff up I'll put the week up every week uh, because I know there are students who like to work ahead am I expecting you to log on on Labor Day no not at all but I know there are some of you who like to work ahead so that's why I do that we get an election day holiday this year uh, Thanksgiving break is there going to be anything posted on Thanksgiving break no last day of class actually for you that's the fifth this isn't a Tuesday Thursday class this is online anytime so that is the actual last day of class and again you're getting I'm correcting myself as I go um, I'll let you read JK news resources this is good um, I, I tried to be as centered as I could when picking these I you know NPR is pretty centered I think Illinois policy it's a little right Politico is a little left economist it, it just kind of depends on who's writing the article BBC I've, I've always I've been of the opinion that the foreign press covers what's going on in this country better than our press does so I mean take this with a grain of salt this isn't the end-all be-all it's not certainly not an exhaustive list of news resources um, and I want you to find your own too, like the State Journal Register the pantograph things like that uh, attendance policy there there is an attendance policy uh, just for financial aid purposes the college will ask me at one point who has never logged on or done any work and I've got to say when that's uh, happened and I go into a where and market and then the college at another point will ask me who has stopped doing work and then I go into the aware roster and I mark that too so attendance is for reporting purposes it's defined as logging on to canvas completing classwork doing homework assignments as well as attending lectures when applicable and when, when I say attending I mean watching the videos that I put up uh, so just come to class all right and just the takeaway from this um, just keep an open line of communication with me that's the best way 
to not get into any sort of trouble. Just keep an open line of communication with me and you will be fine. You'll learn something. You might even enjoy yourself. Stranger things have happened. I know. Uh, guest lecture series. I like to bring learned people with practical political experience. I have a couple in mind. I haven't made the ask yet. Now just keep in mind, when I do this, I have no budget. These people are friends of mine, and they're not charging me to come in. There is no sort of uh, indoctrination or anything like that going on. If it's a libertarian, come in. If it's a Republican, if it's a Democrat, it, you know they're not charging me. That's the only basis. Um, I'm not trying to sway anybody any particular way. All right? So the instructor, and, and I mean the school doesn't help with this. This is all stuff that I arrange on my own. So again, I reserve the right to add or subtract from any part of this syllabus as the semester progresses. I'll make every attempt to notify you of changes. We don't have regular class meetings. through Canvas and or through email. Probably both. So we will have a discussion board. Every week I will pose a series of questions which will require response and debate from each of you. Now, the discussion questions, they might be straight from the book. They might require you to make inferences from the book and do a little research. They might have absolutely nothing to do with what you read in the book and require outside research anyway. I'm trying to get you to think. That's a foreign concept. I know. But uh, I'm trying to get you to think. All right, so they could be straight from the book. You could, they might be partly from the book, and you might have to do research outside and, uh, you know, have a bibliography and inline citations. So every week I will pose a series of questions which will require a response and debate from each of you. Discussion topics can be found under the discussions link. So I haven't posted them yet, but I will. So right here. the discussions link under on the left hand side of the canvas course screen. Again, if I only make six mistakes, it's great. The weekly questions will be posted on Tuesday. And we're going to take that out. And all postings for that topic will be shut down the following Tuesday. Tuesdays at 12.01 a.m. And they'll be shut down on Tuesdays at 11.59 p.m. Grading will be based upon the number of postings you make and the quality of these posts for full credit. Each student must make answer, must make, wow, an answer, and answer all of the questions and respond to at least four other posts. Posts must be done throughout the week. At least one post must be done by, it's Monday, I had it Monday, so Thursday. And each post must make a substantive contribution to the discussion. In other words, statements like, I agree, me too, and similarly unsubstantiated statements do not count. Instead, explain why you agree or why you feel uh, that another point ought to be considered. When possible, try and incorporate course readings, newspaper articles, and this is, another, you know, again, a big one. You know, find, read, start reading the papers. You, you don't have to do it again after the 16 weeks are up, but start reading papers. Uh, or any other information you may have come across that bolsters your position. 
So if done with full thought and commitment, these discussions will be very fulfilling and more than adequately substitute for the lack of lectures. This is especially true if people do not wait till the very end and to jam in their positions and postings and they take the time to read other postings in order to hear what others are saying. And this is fun if you join in, you know, and you contribute to the discussions early and often. So written assignments, Hundred fifty points possible. Details will be posted in the announcements section of Canvas when with at least two weeks notice. before the due date. I haven't quite made up my mind again. I've never done this course as an online. So yeah, I'll post the discussion, the, the written assignments in the discussion, in the, in the uh, announcement section. I'll give you at least two weeks, probably more, just depending. Uh, a lot of these are opinion. Yeah, well, no, they're, it, it's opinion. So. I mean, I don't know how much time you really need. So assigned reading, the basic material. And I, again, that's an old book. So I don't know why that made it in there again. The require, the all readings. Yeah, this is the reading schedule. So week one, introduce yourself. You also read chapter one in the text. Week two, three, four, all the way down week 15 we have Thanksgiving break I won't put any discussions up there week 16 chapter 16 and that's actually most of the book so uh, please note again the syllabus is subject to change at the instructor's discretion um, the policies I I'm not going to change I can see me changing an assignment or two or three um, but, you know, this should pretty much be the way it goes. So, thanks for hanging in there. And this is the updated syllabus. This is going to be saved, and it'll be on Canvas, so this will be the one you see. Um, there is a syllabus quiz that you should take now. So, if you have any questions, don't be afraid to reach out. All right. Goodbye.